Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and welcome to another episode of our little A to Z officer series. But before I talk about our next epic officer, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet but do like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel and when you do also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. But now let's have a quick look at Reginald Barclay. He is class engineering, which means you need engineering badges to upgrade him. He's from the group Holodeck. So if there was another officer, I don't think there is one at the moment, then uh, he could give synergy to uh, the other officer if he's captain. But uh, as far as I know, he's the only Holodeck officer. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know in the comments. And he's from the Faction Federation, which means he needs Federation credits to upgrade. And if you haven't seen The Next Generation or Voyager, then there's an explanation text about Reg Barkley in here. You know, he was the crazy guy. He was kind of um, continuing his role as Murdoch from the A-Team, if you are as old as me and remember that. And uh, yeah, it wasn't very different to the Murdoch times, I must say. But um, as you could already hear, he does not even have a captain maneuver, but he does have an officer ability and a below deck ability. So that's about the synergy part I was talking about. He cannot get synergy anyway. The officer ability is win them over. And that means Reginald Barclay increases the base defense of all officers by 5%. So that's nothing spectacular and because of the whole synergy stuff and so I never used him with his officer ability. Never made any sense for me to do that but maybe one of you um, want, wants to tell us um, that it was worth using him there but I usually use him with his below deck ability and that's why we already come to that point. It's bolstered ship stores. And that means Reginald Barclay increases the ship's base protected cargo by 30%. It's not a gigantic amount, but I do use him for that reason. When you're out there mining, you always want as much protected cargo as you can get. And so I boost one of my miners with this ability to get at least a bit more protected cargo. But you see one thing that they at least write here in the first place. It's always... Those boosts usually are on the base of it. Whenever you see damage or shield health or protected cargo, it's always usually the base stuff. And here they even write it. It's without all your research and artifacts you might have and whatever. It's just 30% more of the base protected cargo of the ship. As an epic officer, I also could choose to send him to away team assignments because he has three possible away team traits. That's engineer, that's cautious, and that's focused. They could be quite helpful as well, but I decided to keep him on one of my miners for the protected cargo, and so I haven't unlocked anything here. But that could be a wise choice as well because cautious and focused are not very widespread abilities. So he could be very useful there. The engineer part, you have tons of en engineers at some point. But the cautious and the focused could be the interesting ones if you choose not to use him for the protected cargo but for, for away teams. But of course you want to know how to get him. And he's not in many places but the places where he is in it's in the end not that hard to get him even, at least um, if you have one prerequisite. First of all, he is one of the 10 officers in the mission key recruit. And as usual, when I talk about mission key recruiting, I have to say again, don't forget to claim your daily free mission key, uh, <laughs> key in the in the Scopely web store. Everybody gets one for free every 24 hours or 22 hours. And every day you can claim one. And uh, why not do that if it's for free? We have mission key events at the moment again. And once again, I see how many people don't do it. That's why I always repeat that in my videos when the topic of mission keys come up. And here, Reginald Barclay is one of the 10 officers you can 
get shards for. So um, you have a 10% chance to get Barclay shards in here, uh, which is quite good. But there's another part where you can even choose to get Barclay because as soon as you have the max shards for your first rare officer, I talked about the transporter patterns in, in, in a separate video, then you have a chance to choose Reg Barkley here yourself because that's what I love about the transporter pattern parts. As soon as you have transporter patterns, and I got this with, with Grush and uh, all the next claims that came in the syndicate were transporter patterns instead of the, the Grush shards because I, I already had full amount of Grush shards and got loads of transporter patterns there. And so that's why I love that I can decide which officer I want to have shards for. And here you can, if you're still missing Reginald Barclay, you can claim shards here if you have transporter patterns and get him quite easily from that point. But as I said earlier in the video, I would really like to know, is anybody out there using his officer ability? Is anybody using him for way teams or is everybody using him for his below deck ability as I do? That would be quite interesting for me. And if you have uh, general questions or video requests, you know that I regularly read your comments. And if you're wondering that it's morning and that's an officer video, I just want to say I want to speed up the, the officer series a bit because we're on it for quite a long time because there are so many officers that I decided to speed it a bit so we can get through that uh, you can find a video on all the officers. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.